Hey, 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 everybody. Uh, here we are with Kim Brooker from Second Impressions Body Positive Photography. She's also known as a woman's empowerment photographer. Kim, welcome. How are you? I'm very good, Paul. Thank you so much for having me on. Hey, thanks for hopping on. We wanted to get Kim on here because this is all about supporting local. And Kim has a local business uh, in Calvin Township, just outside North Bay. And we wanted to talk a little bit about her 40 over 40 photography campaign. Kim, can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, as a woman's empowerment photographer, I photograph women of any age over the age of 19. Um, and make take empowering photos, beautiful photos of them. I uh, try my best to make women feel great about the photos I take. Uh, and then I found that there was a need for women over 40 were really hesitant to have these sorts of photos taken. And when I say sorts of photos, they're portrait photography, but uh, as Paul and I were just discussing, could be called boudoir photography. Right. Um, <clears throat> and women over 40 were just saying, I could never do that. I would never want to be seen in lingerie or stripping down a little bit. Um, so I felt there was a need for one thing, why women over 40 need it. Plus women, as women over 40, we age, we're going to age. Every woman is going to age. So the process could be celebrated and embraced by seeing yourself in beautiful photos. And uh, based on the feedback I've received from the women who participated, um, it for some of them, it's honestly changed their lives. So it, it yeah. makes me feel good. And that's why I do it. Yeah, it would it would have to build their confidence um, for sure. Absolutely. And so many women have come in the door saying, oh, I almost canceled this morning. I <laughs> this is not me. I would never do yeah. this. I couldn't tell my spouse. Yeah. Um, and when they leave, I can just see they've done a 180 in their feelings on it. They're they're confident because I show them photos before they leave. Um, I show them photos as I'm taking, you know, I take the back of my camera and I show it to them and say, this is you. And they're in shock after about five minutes. Yeah. So um, once they're edited and the photos get back to them, it's just made them feel so confident, so good about themselves. You can honestly, truly see it in their face that uh, I did this. I, even yeah. though I'm over 40, I, I am worth something. I am beautiful. So it's so empowering for sure. That's awesome. So I was looking at your website and your Instagram, and they're both awesome. The photography on there is incredible. Um, so you really Thank showcase you. them in a beautiful way. So well done. I think what I'm curious about, and even speaking to my wife about this interview, is how do you get them to come out of their shell? I imagine when they first start, it's a little dicey. And, you know, like you said, they were going to cancel. They showed up. How do you pull them out of that? Well, we sit and chat for a little while. I let them know about me, my reasons for doing it, which they, they probably already know if they've come to my door. Um, but I do share a lot of other women's experiences just in conversation. We chat for about 20 minutes, half an hour before I even pull out the camera just to make women comfortable. And, you know, I most women don't know who I am around here because I'm a fairly recent uh, uh, it, transplant here from the Yukon. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So not knowing women has, has held it back a little bit. But um, when I share other women's experiences, uh, they start to warm up. But I actually pop into the position myself first and say, this is how you're going to be. We're going to drape your arm here because if you don't like this, you know, we're going we're gonna to do this and it'll hide it. And, you know, if you don't like your thighs, look at this position. Your thighs won't even show. So before we ever start, I do all of this. Um, and I can see them becoming comfortable. Some women become comfortable right away and others it's towards the end and they they start saying well I will try on that other outfit that I didn't yeah. think I could ever wear so yeah it's it's a every woman is different for sure and uh, talk to me a little bit about do you have a magazine as well that they are displayed in I actually have it right here so it, the magazine is part of the 40 over 40 campaign every woman chooses their favorite photo from the session and um answers nine different questions they all answer the same question there's the magazine it beautiful hot off the pot seriously hot because i just received the box of them yesterday 
uh, which oh. now I'll be sending out to all the women who participated. And I'll just pick a pick one that's not local here. I don't um, I don't send these. Out, they, they're not on newsstands or anything. But here's an example okay. of one. And very nice. To the every woman answers a question. So um, here's another one. You can see it, but very they, nice. They choose the um, picture that they have in here. I'll just show you my. One of my favorite, it's the oldest woman who participated in the campaign. She's 87. Wow. And she chose not to do lingerie. Wow. But, uh, That's you know, awesome. It's, it's from 40 and up. So I was thrilled we had someone of that age. Yeah. So when they book a session with you, talk to me a little bit about that. How long is a session? And do they automatically get a copy of the magazine, like one copy, or can they buy more? Tell me a bit about that. So... Um, when they book the session, what is included in, in the 40 over 40 campaign is, um, a full one hour of shooting. They can wear, choose up to three different outfits. So many women choose like a, a beautiful dress, then some lingerie, like they switch it up so that the photo that they have in the magazine is, you know, what they're comfortable with. Um, some women have anonymous shots where in the magazine, all you see is them from, you know, the waist down and from the back. You only see part of them. They don't want to be known that they're in the magazine. Um, they uh, they receive that at the end of the campaign, however long it takes. This first one, this was my first campaign, and it took me yeah. over a year. Um, but they do receive the magazine. They get uh, prints as well. And um, the fun of the session, for sure. Yeah. They all, yeah. like I said, the experience, the experience itself is pretty special. Um, uh, what was that? Was that the rest of your question? Yeah, no, that's that. What did they get? Yeah, yeah, that that's good. Okay, and um, you've got some July sessions available from what I see in your website. A couple of left. Okay. Yes. Yes. And I was, uh, so I. Sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say I do have some sessions available in July, and I anticipate it taking approximately a year to finish as well. Um. But I, I travel to to do some photos too. I used to live in the Yukon, where you know there's only forty thousand people in the Yukon, and yeah. I lived in a small community of uh, four hundred and twenty people, and so I had lots of friends there, and that's where I started it uh, wow. two years ago. Um, I had friends saying, "Sure, I'll be a model for you," and and that's where it started. Then their friends wanted to, and then when I moved back here to Ontario, I'd never lived in this area. I'm from Southern Ontario, but I also did live in Thunder Bay for a while. So I have lots of friends and acquaintances up there. So I travel up to Thunder Bay and get <laughs> sessions. It's just yeah. here where I don't really know anyone is uh, where I, there's not a lot of representation from the North Bay area, but I, I think I have six women in there, five or six women in there from local areas. So that's, uh, that's how I get them. <laughs> good, good. Okay. So reading uh, your website and a few other places, you talk a little bit about um Perhaps one of your passions is helping shape cultural attitudes towards women's age, appearance, and, you know, redefine societal norms. Unpack that for me. Tell me a little bit more about that, please. So as I'm in my 60s myself, and I realized that as a younger woman, uh, that's, that's when you are seen and heard in a lot of cases, unless you're a powerhouse, you know, executive woman in your 50s and 60s. I feel like women women believe they start to disappear. Uh, they're not seen in their family photos um, because they're behind the camera. They're not seen um, in commercials on TV that age unless they're the grandmother or, you know, we, we lose our identity that we had in our 20s and 30s as vibrant, uh, important, um, just, just what society expects. And sure. I felt that uh, this was just a, a group of women that had so much to say. We have so much experience and uh, why not celebrate us? For sure. I love that. Um, okay. So the easiest way for people to reach out to you uh, and maybe book a session or ask you more questions would be through your website. Is that where you'd want them to go? 
through the website or and on the website, there's email as well. Yes, yes. Okay, so maybe below this video, I'll put all your different links to your Facebook, your Instagram, and to your website, just so they have Thank easy you. reference and contact points. Is there anything else you wanted to discuss about, you know, 40 over 40 photography campaign? Anything I might have missed? Sure. Um, I, you haven't missed anything. I'll just elaborate a teeny bit. It's, okay. it's one of the nice things on my uh, in my Facebook, I have a private Facebook group as well for women only. And in there, I share a lot, uh, many more details because it's private. I keep it uh, very closely kept. I check every person who's joining the group. Yeah. Um, and we share a lot of testimonials. Uh, women share posts themselves, uh, body positivity, you know, how to have body confidence. I do a lot of... Um, uh, blog posts from others. I'm not the best writer in the world for that kind of thing, but I share, you know, proposing to women how we can become more self-confident, whether it's whether you're having photos or not. Um, but the testimonials are what really gets me. And in the magazine, I say, what were your expectations? How do you feel now? And the how do you feel now? Just um, I expected it, but I think it still just blows my mind how yeah. how much women say they've change their feelings around themselves. I've had two women in the magazine um, have actually explored uh, modeling opportunities now. Wow. One is a plus size gal. And she said, I went into this uh, store that sells plus size lingerie and said, hey, you should, you should use me. And she started, you know, helping them out. And she said she would never have had the confidence before. Many of the women share in the magazine, which again, is not on newsstand, so everyone can't see it. And I think I didn't answer your question previously. Women can purchase an additional uh, copy if they'd like. Okay. But um, they share stories of getting past, um, you know, cancer or abuse or, you know, things that have brought them to this age. And now with the photo session, they, they feel like it's actually just seeing themselves through a different lens. They have more strength and more confidence uh, to move forward. Love it. It's, Love it. It's amazing. It's, stories are stories are incredible. And it's yeah. made me cry, but uh, yeah. well, women cry sometimes when they get their photos as well. It's just yeah. so heartwarming and I love it. Yeah. yeah. So nothing, nothing beats a great testimonial, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So it yeah, makes me well, want to continue. Yeah. So uh, a couple of, a couple of maybe last questions. Do you actually, uh, do men as well or no, strictly women? I am strictly women. Yeah. I figure okay. at my age, I, I <laughs> stick with the niche I identify with and yeah. I feel I could bring the most to them from yeah. my experiences. And yeah, no, I'm not going to do okay, men. Gotcha. <laughs> a lot, and of, I, a lot I, of people do, and that's great. I think the magazine is a really nice touch. Like I think that that is that's so different than most other you know, photographers doing this type of work. Um, does that magazine come out once a quarter, like, or you're not too sure yet? How, what does that look like? Well, it's, as I said, it's available to the women in the group, right. the women who participated primarily. I don't want it to be out there, you know, on on coffee tables in a doctor's office, something like that. that that's right. not the goal and that's not the women's goal. They were sharing together. So this this specific edition um, is available to those women and if they want to buy extra copies and it's done. So it's printed. It just it's still boxed up. I'm still uh, mailing some of them out. Um, the next one will probably take me about a year. The first one took me considerably longer because I, I thought I overestimated my abilities in editing and producing a magazine. Right. So uh, I, it's done now. But yeah, I, I anticipate the women who are being photographed now it'll be ready late spring early summer next year that's awesome this is really good listen kim i i can't thank you enough for hopping on this is uh really good it was good to meet you and do you have any parting thoughts or anything else you want to get in there before we finish i just want to thank you for the opportunity and i have loved chatting with you as well and my challenge i believe in reaching local women is that i'm a newcomer and right. I don't have contacts here. So to be able to speak to you and and uh, have your audience be able to see this is, is real. I'm very thankful for that. And 
my goal is to let more women know. And I've, I'm finding that a, quite a challenge in the North here, as opposed to living in a small community where everyone talks to everyone and knows everyone. So I do appreciate this chance. Right. Well, we have a great audience yeah. and I'm hoping that some of them will reach out to you. So this has been great. Thank you so much for hopping on. Stay on for just a minute and we'll wrap this up. So thank you again. Okay. okay thanks a lot, Paul. Okay. Bye-bye.